All right, guys, welcome back. And all right, guys, welcome back to. And alright guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another vlog on the David Hammond YouTube channel. I don't know if I put Allison's impersonations initially or I might put some of them right now. But guys, we're chilling here at Port Union on top of the hill. Boom, boom, boom. Unfortunately, the sun was out, but it just dipped right when I flew the drone. But regardless, I hope you guys enjoyed that drone clip. It was actually pretty dope cinematic. I enjoyed it nonetheless. So guys, we're probably going to get some steps in, walk a little bit, and then head back home. Tomorrow is a big day, guys. It's our powerlifting comp meet, or I should say our mock meet, guys. We're testing out that deadlift, the bench, and the squat. So today's actually a rest day. I'm not supposed to do too, uh, really anything taxing, and I'm going to include that tomorrow. I'm excited to see what happens. You guys know my goals are 515 on the deadlift, 415 on squat, and 315 bench. To be honest, I have... Like, it's, like, I don't know. Like, I, I, I could fail them. I, uh, they're big goals, but I think I can get them. So, we'll see. Anyways, guys, check you in the next clip. Hopefully you enjoyed that clip. And Allison's impersonations. Try it one more time. Yell it really loud. And all right, guys, welcome back to my channel. So, if my voice ever dies out, that's who's going to take it over. Anyways, guys, see you in the next clip. All right, guys, let's get it going. How are you doing? Yes, we have Wendy's. David, come on, man. You're supposed to be eating clean. You're lifting tomorrow, guys. Don't you worry. My diet 90% of the times is very clean. We had a good breakfast. You guys know that high protein bowl of cereal. And then for lunch, I think I had, yeah, one meal uh, after the breakfast, and that was extra lean ground beef, a bit of tofu, some carrots, hummus, brown, brown rice. Like, guys, come on. We're chilling. So, gonna get in a little bit of calories. And also, guys, you can still go out and eat some food. Like, it's not you, like you have to eat chicken and rice every day. Um, Wendy's, two chicken wraps uh, with a little bit of light sauce, and then I have some fries, medium. Let's go, Allison over here. What did you get, girl? I got Subway. Yeah, Allison. I barely ate today, but. Yeah, Allison pulled it to be a little cleaner than I, actually, no, no, I would say they're both about the same. They're both about the same, but I think mine's cleaner. Yours might be, yeah, actually. you got fries too, Yeah. so I, mine's cleaner, 100%. Okay, I she win. wins. Yeah, I did get fries. Anyways, guys, we're gonna eat this, get up a time lapse, and then I will most likely see you in the next clip. Most likely tomorrow, um, powerlifting, I guess, my pre-thoughts, because it's a big day, so see you then. All right, guys, good morning. What's going on? Welcome. It is the next day. It is 12 o'clock right now. The reason I'm speaking fast is because I was just editing this morning, posted a video. I am now munching on my pre-workout meal. I literally had one bite because I'm supposed to leave in like five minutes. I usually run a little bit late. I always feel bad. That's kind of like a downfall of me that I got to get better at. So I'm munching this, but I thought I would let you guys know because this is my pre-workout meal for the powerlifting competition, the meat, the mock meat. Um, so yeah, hopefully I'm not... Ideally, I'd like to space out a bit more, but you know, it's not like you just jump straight to your heavy set and we're gonna have time in between. It's mainly the deadlift that I notice if I eat too much before I feel like Ugh! the bench press is no issue and squats usually not that bad. So anyways, let me eat this, get up a little time lapse, and then I'm gonna see you guys right at the powerlifting gym. I'll see you guys then. All right guys, we are now here. It's a little bit later, drove here as fast as I could. Now, you obviously know Luke, you know Kyle, where's Kyle? Kyle is doing some warm-ups right there, guys. We're about to hit squats, but I wanna show you some cool stuff because this is the legit day, so Luke, take it away. All right, guys, so this is called ammonia, which is a smelling salt. You take this before a big lift and it kind of like lights everything up and you get like, your rage just comes out. Do you, you have any hard. footage you I can put over? Possibly, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, when I throw it to you, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, we'll do that. Okay, so Dave is gonna give this a try and you guys can see how he reacts and kind of get a good idea of what it does. I won't like cry though, it's not like. No, no, just like, okay, just come like this, open it, like take a little one. This right, is what it looks go. like, guys. It kind of reminds me of cat piss. I took a little sniff of it before, <laughs> but this is the stuff you guys see like with big lifters. And... <laughs> I'll do it, I'll do a big one. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Yeah, it, that one was like that was like sharp. That one was like an onion. Just like, Fling. Yeah, it's bad. Man. All right. Anyways, the announcement. All right, guys. Now for the exciting announcement. Before we jump straight into the lift, I want to first and foremost thank all of you guys because two days ago I had a call with How to Beast, obviously the owner of Edge. And guys, because of you, you guys used my coupon code enough that I am now unofficially or officially their first paid sponsored athlete. So I just want to thank you guys so much. Um, you guys know the fit. What's up? We got the hybrid shorts. These are size medium. We got the tank. We got the hat. I got another batch of clothing coming, but guys, I just wanted to thank you. This is, I mean, let me just think what I'm going to say. It's weird. Those like salts are still in me. It's I can so like indie, still right? smell like the like, cat piss when I like talk. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. See, now I think I'm actually starting to like feel a bit more like hyped Hype, now. Yeah. See, it had like a delayed effect on me. My nervous system wasn't used to it. Now yeah, it's, it's like, yeah. <laughs> let's go. All right, so those ammonia salts are kicking in. Anyways, guys, yeah, fuck yeah, it's really starting to kick in now, man. Like, 
Two days ago, guys, How to Beast and I, we checked the website, and with us, we have the most code usages out of any of the other athletes. So, guys, I just want to thank you again. This is dope. Let's keep going. If interested, guys, you can use coupon code HAMMON. It does support us, and uh, we're going to the fucking moon. All right, guys, with that said, it is game time. Let's get it going. I'm going to set you up on the gimbal, guys, get a little B-roll clip, but then with the top sets, the actual lifts, I'll probably just have the camera recording or something like that because I don't know if I'm going to get it, but with that, Luke and I are competing. It's going to be fucking hype. Kyle's also hitting a very heavy squat today, so it's going to be a badass day. B-roll clip in three, two, one, go. Guys, what is going on? How are you doing? Hopefully you enjoyed that little b-roll clip. I have no clue how it turned out. Hopefully though, it was pretty dope. We did our squats and our bench. We're on to our deadlift. We haven't hit that yet, but before I jump into deadlift, I want to give you guys kind of a recap because, you know, I want to tell you what happened. So long story short, we crushed our fucking goals, guys. It was awesome. Now, would they have counted in a legitimate powerlifting meet? No, they wouldn't have. And that's okay because, guys, this is all about baby steps. Now, let's bring it back to what the goals were. My goal for squat was 415, but because it was feeling so good, I jumped all the way up to 425 or I think it's 424 I killed it I'll put the overlay clip here maybe you saw it I could have went a little bit lower and hit a little bit lower depth but I'm stoked 425 that's a 20 pound PR or 10 pounds higher than what I was expecting then moving on to bench my goal was 315 we smoked that we got that again I didn't like pause on my chest for like a second so if I was in a legit meet it wouldn't count but guys I'm still stoked that's okay we have room to grow so we got that now we're on to deadlift my goal is 515 um, the most I've ever hit I think was 500 flat so like that's a pretty big jump 15 pounds we're warming up for it now luke and i luke also crushed a lot of his goals too uh, you can check out his vlog to get his take anyways let's do deadlifts all right two plates guys this is 265 we just did one plate so gonna go up and then i'm gonna get them to explain how we're gonna attempt it because there's three attempts and you got to be strategic you can't just like max out because you know yolo doesn't work here <laughs> maybe it still does let's go buddy Nice. All right, guys, so while we were going or in between sets to get us super hyped up, we have a array of ingredients here. We have the ammonia, which you guys saw. Uh, this actually helped. It kind of like screwed me up. If you saw earlier in the vlog, I couldn't even like think straight. Uh, we got a little bit of candy. We got some Skittles. I had a little bit of watermelon, these little like candies. And then I had my pre-workout, which you guys saw. And then about another half a scoop before bench press of this pink lemonade. This is Luke's pre-workout. I think I'm okay. I don't think I'm gonna take any more. But uh, yeah, Max has definitely gassed you a bit, so. Let's go. So this is 375, right? Yes. And our goal is 515, which is a 15 pound jump. And we'll see, a little gassed from squats and bench. No, this is good. where it all counts, man. Nice. Good. All right, guys, so this is Luke's pre-workout. I took my pre-workout, Ghost, then I took about half a scoop before bench. I think I take about like a third of a scoop now because this is like the one and only time I'm competing, so like you might as well just go a little bung ho. Yeah. Plus this flavor's bomb AF, pink lemonade. If I was to ever create a flavor, I, I think it'd be yeah, like pink, pink lemonade, lemonade, man. I, pink lemonade's like it's fucking, coated. I know. It's, it's the best thing. So about a third of a scoop. Boop. Probably about 80 milligrams of caffeine right there. Nothing too crazy. I'm feeling okay, but now this is my last warm up before my first attempt out of three. Nice. Oh yeah. 
Oh yeah. It's go time. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. That was the strongest one yet. Alright. Oh, ah. Alright guys, so you just saw that. That was like 475, I think that's what they said. And yeah, I don't know. I, I felt kind of. I'm pretty gassed at this point, and I'm just going straight to 507. I, I'm not doing 515. We're gonna try 507 because that already felt pretty, pretty heavy. I, at this point, guys, I don't know if I'm gonna hit this. I'm just being honest, but um, we're gonna try. We'll see. We already crushed squat and bench, so we'll see. All right, guys, this is it. This is 507. This is not 515. I'm. Yeah. <laughs> not gonna do it but this would still be a pr the last one i got was like 502 501 so if we get this to pr i have no clue i'm 50 50 but we're gonna we're gonna try we're gonna give it everything you got it <laughs> let's go let's One go man. buddy up up pull. let's go up keep, keep going let's go man go 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 yes yes up all right, guys, so we unfortunately failed, but I'm not taking this as an L. I'm not even too stressed. I tried 507, then <laughs> I did not come up, and then I tried my previous PR, which was around 501. I got it off the ground, but I guess my positioning and stuff, I just started like concaving and my, <clears throat> and my fucking organs just started. It is what it is. I'm not gonna take it as an L because you gotta keep in mind, normally I would deadlift like that, fresh, clean, and this was after like squats, heavy bench, maxes, so it's okay, my body's not used to it. But this now gives us a lot of work to do. At the gym opening up tomorrow, guys, we're gonna be starting a brand new series. This is the end. This is literally the last time I'm ever gonna be working out here. So uh, yeah, the brand new series, I'll announce it uh, the next vlog. But overall, man, I'm happy. We got, uh, we smoked our fucking squat. I was, I was expecting to get 415, we got 425, bench we got 315, and deadlift, I, I was just too gassed. But it's okay, it's all right. Uh, maybe we'll compete legitimately about a year's time from now but now it's time to work mucho baby we ain't done yet let's go so what you eating brother we got the mucho burrito baby are you going mucho size yeah same, same thing brother same damn thing. we all going mucho today mucho. all right guys of course we got our freaking obligatory burrito we each got mucho let's go fuel these gains the guy when he was given the burrito he was like you guys you three you have nice physiques and we were like yeah we just competed in powerlifting let's go about to tell my maxes i'm kidding these guys so anyways let's get up a time lapse guys eat the burrito then head back home probably recap this video and uh, maybe give you a little teaser of the next series coming up all right guys we are back home let's get it going it is 7 50 right now about to shower much needed and then do some edits uh, edit up this vlog you're about to see here but i just got two packages normally i don't show packages on amazon because they're like you know camera stuff related but these are actually both lifting related uh as the gyms open up tomorrow so number one let's go i got liquid chalk okay guys this is by hammer grip it's actually like it's quite a bit in here so this is a little expensive around 40 dollars or so but it comes in a little bottle and then the 250 so there's quite a bit and that is so i can grip the bar now obviously at gyms you're not really supposed to use normal chalk it gets all over the place so i eventually want to learn how to hold the bar without straps you know a lot of weight so eventually we'll be using liquid chalk hopefully that won't be an issue i don't think it will be because if you're to compete you cannot use straps so even my deadlift if i got it it wouldn't count because i use straps and uh, the reason i use straps is because we're not allowed to use chalk at the gym so that's kind of where that comes into place and then the second one, I'm excited for this one, so I'll use this right away starting Monday. Woo! I got my lock collars, okay? So this is what Kyle and Luke use, you guys see, whenever we deadlift or put the, the clips on the bar. The problem with normal clips is that a lot of times they're flimsy, they fall off, and that's actually very dangerous because when you're deadlifting or lifting heavy weight, especially when you deadlift, when you hit the ground, it vibrates the plates and they actually spread far apart. And I've had plates like... You want this to be tight and compact. Like you can actually injure yourself. So these will lock it in place. This is only like 15 bucks, super cheap. So these are the new pickups. Liquid chalk in this. I'm ready guys for powerlifting. Bring it to the gym. It's gonna be sick. My first workout is tomorrow, but obviously I'm just gonna go light uh, considering I went pretty balls to the wall today. And then Monday is when we begin, but I'll update you guys in the next vlog with the brand new series. It'll be sick. With that, I'm gonna shower and I'll catch you guys, I believe in the last clip. 
And right guys, end of the day, end of the vlog, we are rocking here with, I don't have my phone with me, it is 10.30, perfect timing, gonna probably watch a little bit of Netflix, or honestly just go to bed, I'm pretty tuckered out. I'm definitely gonna be taking it easy this weekend, gonna be doing a light little workout tomorrow, just to familiarize myself with the gym again, it's been a minute, but I'm thankful they're open again, hopefully they stay open, knock on wood, but if they ever close, I mean, I'm sure I can just go back to Kyle's, so shout out to that. Anyways guys, today was a dope day. I'm overall super stoked with how everything went. Again, none of the lifts unfortunately would have qualified for like an actual meet, but like that wasn't really my goal. I've, I've I trained powerlifting for like three weeks, you know, it's okay. This is what allows me to build for the next foreseeable future to really just dial in everything. So learning how to grip the bar properly or, you know, pausing on my bench, or just the little tactics, but really the main thing is just getting stronger at those big three lifts. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. Again, starting tomorrow, or I guess the next vlog is the brand new series. I don't want to reveal the name or the title, but I think you guys can kind of get a picture, but it's exciting nonetheless. I'll finish it here, guys, on the final plugs. If you guys are interested and would like to work with me on a personal level, you guys know what's up. We have one-on-one -on -one coaching, we have group coaching, and the course, guys. You've heard me talk about this stuff plenty of times. You can go download yourself the free half an hour course where it actually includes sections on fitness, nutrition, intermittent fasting, no fap, increasing your masculinity to improve your relationships, finding your passion, and turning it into a business. And guys, thank you so much for supporting Edge. Again, shorts, tank, it's literally what I wear. Coupon code Hammond to save you 10%, guys. I really appreciate any of you who have used it and supported me as the channel thank you guys till then catch you in the next vlog let's crush it time to rest up i'll see you then much love peace